What's going on guys? Um, in this video, I'm going to do some some experimenting with a uh, Asteroids machine. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to overclock Asteroids. And so, uh, I'm going to pull this thing out and we're going to take a look at the board and we're going to figure out ways to overclock it. Now, I do happen to know that the um, 6502 processor is what Asteroid uses. And <clears throat> that processor came out, I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, 1974, I think. And it was originally at 1 megahertz, and I think they, by the time it hit Asteroids, it was a 2 megahertz processor. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, so, I'm going to see what, see what the original clock is. I'm going to look at the schematics. Um, and I'm going to see if I could find a 65CO2. I believe that's pin for pin compatible. It's, a, it's basically an upgraded 6502 processor, which is capable of handling 14 megahertz. So we're gonna we're get, we're basically going to overclock the shit out of an asteroids until it crashes, and then we're gonna see where it's stable. And I might even try underclocking it. Uh, we'll 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 see what happens with that too. Now the reason I'm going with a vector, and and not just any vector, a simple vector like asteroids, is because. Um, Okay, if I went to a raster, let me find a raster. If I if I uh, worked on this raster here and I tried overclocking it, it would mess with many other uh, circuits also. Uh, it would uh, change. See, you originally have your 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 clock frequency, which is then divided to run different areas of the board, like your video circuit and so on. So if I were to overclock a raster, it would be much more complicated ordeal than overclocking a vector. Because a vector monitor, theoretically, will display any frequency it's given to, as long as it's fast enough for you to clearly see it. Um, but if I start changing frequencies on a raster arcade machine, um, it will start messing with other frequencies like your video circuit, which keeps the, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll mess the sync up and all kinds of stuff. So let's pull out an Asteroids. Let me see if I could find a 65CO2 processor and let's get started. Okay, I got the Asteroids in the kitchen here and uh, I just, now let me tell you a little bit about this Asteroids before I tear into it. Um, this is, you know, believe it or not, me and Kelly probably owned maybe 40, yes, maybe 40 asteroids in our day. But this is not, and this is not the best one by far. I actually had one that was, I had one that was actually perfect. And I hated to sell it, but I did. Uh, but the reason I still have this asteroids, it's not the best asteroids, but the reason I still have this asteroids is because this was my father-in-law's asteroids, and before he before he passed away, he you know I got him into arcade stuff, and he used to he loved asteroids, and I just remember him, you know I don't want to lose this asteroids. This this there's just too much too much into this asteroids, but okay. Um, I already took out the back screw. Now. This is also the only uh, Atari Vector that I have not put a brand new Big Blue in yet. That is running the original Big Blue. And so I'm going to make sure to put a new Big Blue in this before I uh, put this back in the row. Now, move this aside. Now, I, I did rebuild the, uh, the AR power supply. I always put a fan on them just because. Um, but yeah, let's pull this sucker out and let's uh, take a look at the board. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, swap out this crystal. Now, uh, this crystal runs at 12.096 megahertz, and uh, often on this specific board, these crystals actually are broken. And uh, I, I usually replace them with a 12, an even 12 megahertz crystal when they break. It's fine. It doesn't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but uh, <clears throat> so the crystal is basically uh, it, it's the it's the base frequency before it gets divided down to anything else. Okay, so replacing this crystal, upgrading it to a different size is basically going to overclock everything on this board, not just one individual unit. And that's what we're going to start at first. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go dig for some crystals, and we'll see if we can find something. You know, I'm going to try up a twenty, but I don't know if it'll go that high. Let me see if I can get as much as I can in between, you know, 12 to 15 megahertz and see what happens. Original 12.096. 12.44 megahertz. 
14.318 megahertz. Okay, the highest I've been able to get this to, be, to, to run at is 16 megahertz. Now that, okay, it's divided in half. Okay, so right now I'm running the processor at 2 megahertz. Okay, so uh, this is this is well beyond what this is designed to run at. And if you can tell, and the picture is kind of fuzzy in the camera, but I got graphical issues, like I have an interference going through everything. So let's play some asteroids. This is the highest the highest I can get it before it starts to act up. 16 megahertz. Let's see how the game plays. Look at my ship how it's messed up. Oh yeah, I'm flying. Graphical problems. Yeah, this is fast. I don't know if you can see all these graphical glitches with the camera or not. moved quick but uh, okay now I underclocked it the original crystal was 12 megahertz which uh, which ended up uh, becoming 1.5 megahertz going to the CPU well now I put an 8 megahertz crystal in which now the CPU is clocked at 1 megahertz okay and right off the bat you can see some uh, like how do I say it? Like like vector flicker, like strong vector flicker. You can, it's definitely drawing slower, for sure. Uh, so this is the biggest difference noticed. This biggest thing I've noticed so far. Uh, so I want I want to play a game. Let's see how it works at eight megahertz. Clocked under clocked. Yeah, definitely running slow. It's hard to turn the ship. The ship is like sluggish. I guess it'd be easier to play it this way. It is speeding up though. I mean, the game does speed up when you shoot more asteroids, but. Wow. The thump sounds are really slow. You guys have an idea, that's underclocked. Okay, let me give you guys a breakdown of what uh, just happened. Now, the schematics uh, say that the processor is clocked at 1.5 megahertz, but it actually is not. Um, the the, the uh, Crystal is 12.096 megahertz, which actually gives the CPU 1.512 megahertz. Close to 1.5, but a little different. Now, when we, we overclocked it a little bit by going 12.44, which, which bumped the CPU up to 1.555 megahertz. 
and then we tried 14.318 uh, megahertz crystal, which which then bumped the CPU up to 1.7 uh, 8975 megahertz. Okay, and the fastest I could get it to run, and it did not run stable, but it did run, was at 16 megahertz, which then brought the CPU frequency to 2 megahertz, and that's the fastest I could get it to run without crashing. Now, the absolute slowest I could get it to run without crashing. Now, at this point, I actually had to disable the watchdog circuit. Um, but anyways, was 8 megahertz crystal bringing the CPU frequency down to 1 megahertz was the absolute slowest I could get it to go. And an even 2 megahertz was the absolute fastest I could get the CPU to go. Now, if I were to get a different 6502, uh, I don't, I, you know, I, I, I looked for a 65C. O2, but uh, I, I don't I don't know where one's at, but yeah, somewhere I have them brand new in the tube. But uh, well, that might be another day. Who knows? Maybe you could maybe you could squeeze a little more out of it if you replace the processor. This is running the original processor, designed to run at 1.5 megahertz. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. So if you guys like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me some ideas on some other videos. I thought, I thought this was a cool video. Do you, do, you guys, uh, do you guys like overclocking videos? By the way, no arcade machines were harmed in the making of this video. Um, uh, it, will be, it will be reverted back to original and pushed back in the row. But have a nice day, guys. You know, there's one more thing that I wanted to mention, and I forgot. So I'm going to tell you guys right now. There is a way to make it even faster. Uh, there's, an, there's a modification called the two times speed up mod, mod and you basically just cut a pin and uh, on, on, a, on a counter chip and you, you route it to a different, different place. Anyways, that makes the asteroids run two times faster. So I could have got the 16 megahertz or the, at, at the 2 megahertz clock run the asteroids two times faster and still work. It, you know, but uh, I really don't want to chop up the board. You know, it's easy to put a crystal back, no big deal. But hey, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.